Want to learn more about the dynamics between men and women? Then check out the multi-part video series I have explaining the masculine and feminine energies. Access the link and watch it now. What's up? So in this video, we're going to be speaking about why women like it when you put them in their place. Now, this is interesting because from certain perspectives, you might be like, well, what do you mean? Like women are, you know, isn't putting a woman in her place a bad thing? Right, but it's interesting because you actually see online, women are the ones saying, I like a man who puts me in my place, who keeps me in check and so on. And this is a little bit uncomfortable I see for guys to kind of accept because they're like, well, why do I have to put her in her place, blah, blah, blah. But we're gonna get into that in this video because as the man, this is something you have to do. And especially when you're coming from a place or dealing with women who have a little bit of a chaotic energy, in them it's just inevitable there's no point complaining about it i'm just going to tell you how to or what's the reason why you have to do it right hold on now women find it attractive when a man puts them in their place because there's some energetic interactions going on beneath the surface beneath the mind beneath the body there is an energetic interaction going on and she can feel that women are extremely in tune with spiritual aspects and energy and emotion and all of these things. They can feel the polarity. That's the word you want to know. Polarity is going on. She's feeling feminine energy or she's feeling that she's in her feminine energy and the bliss and pleasure that comes from that because you are exerting masculine energy into her. It's literally like a penetrating feeling. That's what I want you to imagine. This is gonna, this is gonna help you with your understanding of it. Now, we talk about the masculine being structure and boundaries. So what is happening on the energetic surface is she's feeling the structure and boundaries. Let's stick on the boundaries aspect. She's feeling boundaries. The feminine energy is chaotic, it's like this. It's flow, you know, it's all around. Just like her cycle, just like her hormones, all around, just like her mind. That's why we say, hey, a woman can change her mind often. This is her energy. And what it does is it tests, it's testing, it's testing. This is you. She's testing the boundaries, right? Now, if she can just go all, all over, there's actually danger in that, right? There's danger in that because, well, as we know, chaotic energy will lead and Chaotic energy, a lack of logic operating on emotions will actually be unsafe for her. When she's testing your boundaries, she's it's nature's way of making sure that with you, she is safe because you are going to be the stability. Now, I'm not saying that a woman should overtly do this to, to an excessive extent, but what I am saying that is this, a, this is a part of nature on some level. Every woman is going to test your boundaries, no matter who, it's her way of finding out what type of guy you are. And actually, you might disagree, but if Adam was the one, or Adamu, as you know, his actual name was, if he was the one who was listening to this video, if there was YouTube in the conception of time, if you go by biblical perspectives, then we would still be in the Garden of Eden because he should have, or you know, you know, you being the first man and all, maybe you're not to know, but if he knew this knowledge that you are supposed to be boundaries she's gonna test you she's gonna test your boundaries she's gonna push your boundaries and you have to be the one to go no you settled the chaos you have to do that he wouldn't have eaten the forbidden fruit because she was testing that's exactly what she was supposed to do and well here's the thing if she, if she can test your boundaries right and you have no boundaries because she's testing the boundaries and not and they're not there she will lose respect for you because you're communicating, you do not have masculine strength. She's supposed to lose respect for you. It makes total sense, right? Now, it signals to her that you are not capable of protecting her. Why? Because you can't even protect and stabilize yourself from her. So how are you going to communicate that you can protect her from the world and the chaos that that brings if you can't even protect yourself from the chaos that she brings? It doesn't make sense. So you see how nature's trying to find reasons to not just listen to his words, but look at his actions. You're going to test your boundaries. Now that could happen in so many ways. And we're going to speak about that in another video. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure you have, but I'm just speaking about why she's doing it, but why you sh should not allow that to happen. Why you should not allow a woman to test your bound or get away with testing your boundaries without putting her in her place and out without checking her is because why do you even want to allow a girl to disrespect you anyway?
Forget the fact that it gives her an attractive feeling and a sensation of polarity. Forget that for a second. Forget her. Why do you want to let a girl get away with disrespecting you? How can you call yourself the head of the household, the man, and you're letting a girl just get her way, do whatever, it doesn't matter. Now, there are many small things that are injected in this culture where you are actually letting girls get away with ridiculous stuff that she should not be. And we'll go into that, right? And we're also going to go into how you can do it respectfully because that's also a big issue for men. But the point is you must value yourself so highly that there is no chaos that you're just letting and leaving to fester in your relationship or your dating interactions. Even if you know the girl from first, like you just met her, like just you approached her at the club and she acts up, supposed to put her in her place. It's different according to different situations and you don't have to go crazy with it. That's not what I'm saying. Please, please do not overdo it. And if you need help, what you should do is book a one-on-one -on -one with me or wait until the future videos where I say specifically how to do it and so on. But um, she's not supposed to get away with disrespecting you and she knows that. She will lose attraction for you. She will be the best measurement and proof of what I'm saying because she will not respect you. She will leave. And if she doesn't leave, her femininity will leave the chat. That is for sure. So I see um, these men who, you know, are really soft in this generation saying, well, if I put her in her place, what if she doesn't like her? What if she gets mad or blah, blah, blah? Or what if she calls the police? You know what that shows? Firstly, it shows you're going to overdo it. Just like I said, why are you thinking of being so aggressive that she would need to call the police? That's not what I'm saying. But two, it shows that if you think putting her in her place is incorrect or there's something wrong with that, then it also means you're probably letting them get away with that. So you're inviting and letting chaos fester and then complaining when they bring chaotic conditions and chaotic behavior to the interaction you you cannot sit here and say well if she doesn't if she if she invites chaos in the environment at all then i'm just leaving her you'll leave all of them because they all do that to some extent maybe some obviously crazier than others but even the healthy feminine ones do it too trust me i'm letting you know that however what we're going to do in following videos we're going to talk specifically about how to do it in a respectful way also, how it is being put into the system and the culture, even in terms of what, uh, you know, certain feminist uh, quotes that are, that girls just repeat in the narratives and what you need to watch out for. So subscribe. It's also going to be in a future course. I'm going to make a course on uh, masculine leadership and in there will be a module about putting her in her place. So really, that's the thing you want to get on. But until then, comment down below. Let Remus know. I want to. Uh, what I do want to hear is, have you put a girl in her place and seen a good result from it? So perhaps when you do it, what happens is she gets more aroused or have you had a bad experience doing it? So comment down below. Let Remus know and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.